Welcome back in. It is time to talk about your money. Mortgage rates are falling again. What's behind the dip? What does it mean you should do? Stuart Welch from the Welch Group joins us to talk more about it. Uh, we do know the president's telling the Fed, hey, quit, quit, don't stay where you are. Don't, don't start raising rates. He doesn't want them to do that. Uh, but talk about rates. They're, they're really back to historic lows right now. Yeah, this is kind of an alert, uh, mortgage rate alert. It's uh, Mortgage rates are at a 17-month low. Mm -hmm. Now, I would have expected interest rates to continue continue to rise, right. but what's happened is uh, there is uh, some concern about a recession, that the economy is beginning to slow down mm -hmm. and it may continue to do so. And I think it's aggravated by the trade war or the uh, tariffs yeah. with China and the potential tariffs around uh, Mexico. Yeah, and do you think also too, uh, in an election year, that that also has some impact at all? Because uh, maybe there's some uncertainty about what the markets are doing? There is. I, you know, it's, uh, the, I think uh, there is uncertainty around it. and. Uh, you know, you're hoping that the economy continues to move forward. Yeah. I think that it will. I think that what's happening is very temporary. So I think from a mortgage perspective, you want to take a moment and say, gosh, did I miss the bottom? And is this an opportunity to go refinance? That's what I'm wondering. So let's talk about that. So what should you do then? If you're looking at the math, you're getting out your calculator, your pad, what should you be doing right now? Well, I think the first thing is the 30-year rate is right at 4%. Uh, and the 15-year rate is about 3.4%. So the first thing I would do is check your own rates. Mm -hmm. And if you're, if you're like 1% higher than that, I would do the math. So you sit down and do the math, you figure out the closing cost and figure out what your break even is. Yeah. And if your break even is say three to five years and you plan to stay in the house 10 years or more, you might want to consider refinancing. Real quickly, if you, have, if you run into an aggressive mortgage lender and they say, oh no, no, you don't need to go by that 1% rule anymore. Uh, should you believe them? Should you say, no, 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 it's got to be 1% a difference at I, least? I do think 1% is uh, the place at which you would check. Okay. I, I, there's nothing wrong with running a break even, having them run a break even. They'll run a break even, including okay. closing costs. Right. Uh, and if, uh, if it makes sense for you to do it, then you go ahead and do it. All right, real quickly, if you're, if you're on the fence, either buying a home uh, or, you know, or buying a townhome or buying a car, what should you do now? So I think uh, it is a really good time to buy a home. If, if you've been thinking, gosh, I need to buy, I need to buy, now's a good time from a mortgage rate perspective because mortgage rates have taken okay. a big dip. So it's a good time to take a look. It's a, a good time to be in the market as well. Okay, so if you wait till next summer, you're, you think you'll maybe be in trouble a little bit? My guess is interest rates are higher. Okay. My guess is interest rates are higher. All right, Stuart Wells, thank you so much. Thanks, Mike. In a moment, how